now that we know how to solve homogeneous linear difference equations, we can now look at the probability of ruin for the gambler's ruin problem. So last time in the previous section, in section three, we set up a linear difference equation for the probability of ruin, and now we're going to see how to solve that. So this is the equation that we set up in section three for the probability of ruin. And as we can see, it's a homogeneous linear difference equation. So now we just have to solve it. So we have the characteristic equation, as always, is how we start. And so here this becomes P lambda squared minus lambda plus Q equals zero. This equation, we could try to solve it using the uh, solution equation for quadratic equations, but we can actually factorize this. It factorizes as P lambda minus Q lambda minus one equals naught. Now, you might need to pause the video at this stage and check that that really is a factorization of the equation. It's slightly non-obvious because we've used the fact that P plus Q equals one. So if you just want to pause the video and expand out those brackets and check that that's a real factorization, uh, you can. Uh, but this means that we have uh, solutions of the uh, characteristic equation, which are one, and which are q over p, which if you remember from section three, we called that rho. So here, do we have two distinct roots, or do we have a repeated root? Well, it depends, doesn't it? If rho is equal to 1, we have the root 1 repeated twice. Whereas if rho is not equal to 1, we've got two different roots, 1 and rho. So we're going to have to case split. We're going to have to do the cases that rho equals 1 and rho isn't equal to 1 separately. Because whether or not rho is 1 tells us whether or not we've got distinct roots or a repeated root. So let's do the case rho not equal to 1 first. So that's the case where we have distinct roots. So when we have distinct roots, we know that the general solution is uh, Ri equals A lots of rho to the i plus B lots of well, 1 to the i, and 1 to the i is just 1, isn't it? So we can write that as B. That's our general solution, a rho to the i plus b. And now we need to use these two conditions, these boundary conditions on r0 and rm, to solve it. So those conditions are r0, uh, which is a plus b equals 1, and rm equals 0. rm is a rho to the m plus b and that has to be zero. And so now we've got uh, two simultaneous equations, which again, uh, you've got to solve in any way you like to solve uh, simultaneous equations. For example, one way to solve these simultaneous equations would be to take uh, b equals one minus a from the first equation and substitute that into the second which would give you uh, a rho to the m plus 1 minus a equals 0, and thus uh, a equals uh, 1 over 1 minus rho to the m. Again, you might just need to pause the video just for a second to check my algebra there. That's a solution for a, and therefore uh, substituting that uh, back into equation 1, we get b equals 1 minus 1 over 1 minus rho to the m, uh, which is uh, minus rho to the m over 1 minus rho to the m. Again, if you need just a second to check the algebra, that's fine. And so substituting all that in, we get the solution. for rho not equal to 1 is uh, ri equals 
a, which was one minus rho to the m, lots of rho to the i, plus b, which is minus rho to the m, one minus rho to the m, lots of one to the i, uh, and we can tidy that up a little bit by writing it as rho to the i minus rho to the m over one minus rho to the m. And so that's the solution when rho is not equal to minus one. Okay, but what if rho is equal to one? So then we have a repeated root at we have the root 1 and we have the root rho, which is equal to 1. So remembering the rules for repeated roots, we have the solution a plus bi, lots of 1 to the i, equals rho to the i. That's just a plus bi. And so again, we need to use our two uh, boundary conditions, r0 equals 1 and rm equals 0 from the beginning. So um, that was the general solution just there. And using boundary conditions, we have R0, which is going to be A plus B lots of 0. So that's just A equals 1. So that gives us A straight away. And Rm, well, that's A plus Bm, but we already know that A is 1. And that has to be equal to 0, uh, which means that b must be equal to minus 1 over m. And thus we get the solution when rho equals 1 is ri equals a 1 plus b minus 1 over m i. Uh, and so you can write that as 1 minus i over m, or if you prefer, you can write it as m minus i over m. And that's the solution when rho equals 1. So we found separate solutions for when rho isn't 1 and when rho is 1. And if you go back to section 3, you, you can check that that is what we claimed the results were last time. I haven't made a video for section 4.4 where we solve a simil similar uh, equation for the duration uh, that's because I think you can probably follow the notes, and it works similarly to this, in that you get 1 and rho as the roots of the equation, so you have to case split, depending on whether you have distinct or repeated roots.